has missed it. He goes on. Yeah, he, he goes on notice. I just think he, he's got to do it for a little bit long, yeah. longer. And mm. Yaya's best season outweighs what Kevin done this season. He scored 20 goals in that season. What's mm. it? 13, 14. So yeah. remarkable. They're d different players, though, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I love this argument, though. Do you not think De Bruyne has got a little bit more? Flexibility to his game. He can play in different, but play anywhere. Yeah, but look at Yaya. Yaya played centre back in the yeah. Champions yeah, League granted, final. Granted. He played up, played up front. I yeah. played against. He, play, he yeah. played off of the front, turned, and it was like whoa. Yeah. Like this juggernaut running at you with soft feet, like the way it was brilliant. But but Kevin De Bruyne, what he does, he's so so easy on the eye. What he his does in terms of is, is, he's, his crossing yeah, is as good as anyone yeah. in football. His actual final pass in the final third delivery is frightening. He can hit you on, from pass. the halfway line as well, and he can shoot either foot. He's and he can move. He's very the, very. The one, yeah. you, one thing you do get with both those players, and any player that reaches that kind of level, is is a real intelligence to the game, isn't it? Has oh, to be. it yeah, it goes on notice. You just see the technical ability, but that kind of in game intelligence and and man management of the games is, is crazy to see and, and witness it week in, week out. Mm. I think we've seen as well, there's an intensity to him as well. That you, you look at his face, a bit of a baby face, and you mm. think that but there's an intensity and a little bit of yeah. needle to him sometimes yeah. coming yeah. off the pitch, arguing with older players, etc., demanding off other people. If the ball doesn't come at the right pace, yeah. he'll give it to people, which I love to see that. Gareth Bell, I mean, it's an interesting situation. It's, it's quite clear, isn't it, for looking from the outside that... Zinedine Zidane doesn't really fancy him that much, mm. and they've got, you never quite know what's going on behind the scenes. Easy to be judgmental, but I mean, he's had such a great time there over until the last few couple of seasons. Well, if you look at it in terms of trophies, yeah. he's won a phenomenal amount of trophies, and it will go down. I'm sure as one of the most successful imports they've had. But with, there's no doubt in one thing that is happening. We're, be, we're being denied a generational yeah. talent here yeah. playing football. We want him out on the pitch to perform and play. Again, we've seen what he can do in finals, big moments. He's scored great goals, defined moments, uh, defining moments in big games. But we're not being allowed to see him yeah. play. And that's the frustrating yeah. thing. And you almost want him to come out. You're begging for him or the club he's to come out and make quiet, a really big statement. He's quite though, isn't he? He doesn't say... Statement. I mean, it's basically, you know, you know what clubs are like. They'll spin it their way. And Zinedine Zidane says, oh, he prefers not to play. You don't know. But he's quite quiet. He keeps, he keeps his thoughts to himself. It'd be interesting to hear from him, wouldn't it? Mm, to yeah, see definitely. what he thinks. Does he want to go? Does he want to leave? Uh, are they letting him leave? Yeah, I think this might be the turning point. The fact that he yeah. said he didn't want to play. And, and as a player, if someone's saying mm. you're refusing to play, that's hard to take. Um, if someone said that's you, I'm com you're coming out and saying it in your Oh, 100%. You kind of when I had that scenario um, during my time at Everton and I was accused of that, that wasn't the case. So I wanted to kind of yeah. make everybody aware that wasn't the case. Yeah, which is my point. You yeah. don't really know what's going on, do you? Yeah, I think he's got, he's got to just come out and yeah. give his point. And yeah. also, I think it's time now maybe either cut your ties with Real Madrid or at least go on loan. Mm. Go on loan and make a deal happen somewhere, you know, to get out on the pitch and play football. Yeah. So, I mean, there's so much talent to get in. You have to be special. But are you surprised you've put him in this game? I'm not because of not. what he's done. Like, you saw the Liverpool game, yeah. playing against the champions, a big game. He goes in there and it's probably the star man of the day, set yeah. up goals. He was, he was tremendous that day. And I think he's somebody who's been waiting. Yeah. And we mentioned it earlier. In this game, sometimes, a lot of young players become impatient. They're pushed mm -hmm. and, and, and shoved by agents sometimes into saying and demanding, I need to play or I'm yeah. getting off. This kid has sat there and has trusted yeah. in the whole process. I'm going to get a chance and here he is now and on also, the big stage. And also, part of that process must be thinking, I'm with Pep Guardiola here. Mm. I can learn oh. something. I can learn David a lot. You need to be with Silver, a coach Bernardo that can help. Yeah. Kevin De Bruyne, yeah. all them people, yeah. but also... He loves Man City, so that helps. <laughs> that has played into yeah. the hands of Man City. Obviously, yeah, yeah. there may be a, an impatient younger player that obviously doesn't love the Sancho. club as much. Yeah, yeah. but obviously, yeah. Phil Foden loves the club and all he wants yeah. to do is play for Man City. Mm. You can see that the Pep improves players and, and you know that as a player. We've seen it with Raheem Sterling. Yeah, and I don't example. think there's many managers who would yeah. have given the education that he's had up to this point. Mm. Not only from the players we just mentioned, but from someone like Pep Guardiola, you can see that he's somebody who wants to teach players and show them different little nuances in a game. Yeah. And this kid seems like yeah. a sponge to take mm. it all on.